What's up everyone, Full Animix here. So I have finally watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Finally. If you guys don't know, I have never watched Jujutsu Kaisen. This is my first time ever watching it. And you may be asking, well, why haven't you watched it before? It's like one of the greatest shonen anime to come out ever. It's not, but so that's okay. You can you can keep thinking that. Honestly, I kind of just wanted the hype to die down a little bit before I started watching it. Um, that was my first flaw. <laughs> The show just kept getting bigger and hyper and whatever, -er, and I just decided, you know what? I can't escape the show, so I might as well watch it. So without further ado and without more procrastinating, let's talk about Jujutsu Kaisen. Our protagonist Yuji Itadori becomes enveloped with the existence of supernatural curses around him. After eating a finger of Sukana Roman, the king of curses, he becomes a Jujutsu sorcerer with a strong drive to save people from curses. I nailed that on the first try. Now to start things off, I'm going to say this and make sure you guys have like a salt shaker right next to you just to get all your salt out but Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely an original show. I've heard a lot of people say that Jujutsu Kaisen isn't an original show and I have never laughed so hard in my life. Yes, the show has undoubtedly taken inspiration from past shonen anime such as Bleach or Naruto, but to call it a copy or a straight up plagiarization of late shonen anime is just a fucking joke. <laughs> There's a really big difference between copying an anime and homaging an anime. An homage is basically just taking inspiration from a show but using different things to make it different. I don't know how it goes. All I can say is that Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely an original show and it gives me different feelings to how I watch other shows. I've never watched Bleach but from what I know, it's not like Bleach. <laughs> there isn't a guy waving around a sword with a weird other guy behind him. I don't, I don't know how Bleach works to be honest and the only thing similar to Jujutsu Kaisen and Naruto is that they can both do ninjutsu or jutsu or whatever it's literally it I know I kind of ranted on about that but I've just heard so many people talking about it and honestly I'm kind of sick of it and I've only watched this show like 24 hours ago like <laughs> I, I need help. But to summarize, I think Jujutsu Kaisen gives me a sense of familiarity. It gives me that old school shonen vibe, but still giving it a twist of something new and fresh. Moving on, let's talk about our protagonist, Yuji Itadori. Yuji is a bit of a weird case for me. Usually when I talk about protagonists, I just straight up say, they're dumb motherfuckers and they can't obviously see that all the girls like him. With that said, Yuji seems sort of like a relatable character, but not relatable at the same same time. On one side, he has a strong sense of justice because he kind of caused everything to happen, but at the same time, he's like literally Captain America, like he can just do so many unnatural things. It's really jarring, but also kind of interesting. I don't know, I just kind of felt like saying that. I think Yuji is a really good protagonist for this story. It's been done over and over again, but the way he's enveloped into this world is also very interesting. And I think it's done probably just better than most other instances. Now let's talk about the real meat of the show. The action and animation. Yeah, it's all right. I think it's pretty good and this is satire. Obviously the action and animation are phenomenal. The fluidness and the lines and the quality is just so great. That's it. It's awesome. I was actually watching a video earlier about this guy reviewing one star review Jujutsu Kaisen and stuff and there was a lot of people saying the animation is so bad like I can't believe it. I'm like what? <laughs> Like, if you think that's bad, you should you should watch, like, generic isekai shows. Then you'll realize what a bad-looking show is. Back on topic, the fight choreography and flawness of the moves just feels so right. I feel like this has to be, like, the base line of animation nowadays. Like, I feel like if a show isn't up to Jujutsu Kaisen quality, then I don't really want to watch the fight scene. Like, is that fair to me to say? Oh my god, I'm becoming a GGK fan. Also, I think the well building in the show is done very well. Usually they kind of just throw stuff at you and go like, yeah, this, this is in this world and this is also in this world, but this isn't. 
All right, this isn't. Whereas GGK, I feel like I'm getting fed information at a steady rate, but I also kind of need to concentrate to kind of understand. And you know, I like that balance. Like they're just straight up conversations with explanation. And usually I'll go like, oh, I have to concentrate for this. Oh, I have to find out why they're doing this sort of thing. But you know, I was kind of just in depth with it. And then they kept bringing it up again and then showing it. I'm just like, you know what? This show, this show does it right. This show does it right. And talking about the world, let's talk about the other characters because I'm just now realizing I didn't talk about them. Uh, Edgy Man is pretty cool. You know, he's got some mystery and we learn a lot about him. Um, the girl is pretty cool. You know, she wasn't what I was expecting, which is pretty cool. And then we have Kakashi Sensei, who is literally the most broken character in the entire show. And they said this and they've shown this. So I'm kind of interested in how they're going to deal with him because the show has self reference the fact that he is the most overpowered character in the anime. <laughs> when I was scripting this video, I kind of just put down some dot points and then I realized that they all start with the letter A. So I'm just gonna read that now. First one, I did a sense of familiarity, knowing that Bleach and Naruto inspired Jujutsu Kaisen to be a new fresh take on shonen anime. A relatable yet non-relatable protagonist. Action and animation, a world worth investing. And finally, a story worth investing. I I truly believe that Jujutsu Kaisen is a really good anime and probably even a great anime. It definitely deserves the hype and praise that has been given to it. I'm really excited to watch the movie and watch the new season that's coming out next year because I think GGK could be the new big shonen anime with Demon Slayer. Like all we need now is just one show. We need one amazing show, maybe like Chainsaw Man or Spy Family, just to complete the big three. The new big three. New gen big three. Fuck Attack on Titan. Fuck My Hero Academia. This is the new big three. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.